Hello everybody, this is the third episode of IT News. In today's issue you'll see The most powerful gaming tablet Windows Birthday A games console from the past A game about the Russia-Ukraine war And a humanoid robot Asus has presented a new product, Asus ROG Flow Z13. So what's this? The new ROG Flow Z13 by Asus is a gaming tablet supporting the latest Alder Lake, Intel Core i9 and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti graphics card, along with the 120GHz screen and two options of connecting an external graphics adapter. Flow Z13 may come in various configurations with Core i7 or Core i5 CPUs and board, and the graphics may vary too. Depending on the price, you can get an RTX 3050 instead of RTX 3050 Ti or even opt for integrated graphics to save a budget. Asus positions its new ROG Flow Z13 as the most powerful gaming tablet on the market, and just a single look at its specifications makes you realize that is absolutely true. The body is made of an aluminum alloy and features a few fancy elements sure to catch your eye. The screen comes with an oleophobic coating and it doesn't get dirty too much. There is also a kind of foldable support that lets you position the device in a way you find comfortable, and the maximum deflection angle is 170 degrees. The hinges are pretty stiff, so your tablet is certainly not going to fold by itself while you're gaming. The device features two cameras. The frontal one is a typical webcam supporting 720p, and the camera on the back panel promises much better quality with 8 megapixel shots. Rockflow Z13 is a pretty unique product with hardly any rivals in the tablet market. At the moment, you can have it for about 2100 euros. This month, Windows 3.1 operating system has turned 30. As we remember, its sales started on April 6, 1992. In those days, you needed a computer with just 1 MB of RAM and board to run Windows 3.1. Although the minimal requirements mentioned Intel 8286, the system had certain issues with the CPU, so users actually needed an Intel 8386 for the system to work properly. Although Windows 3.1 was supplied on a set of floppy disks, it also had alternative versions on CDs, and CD drives would cost you a pretty penny back then. Because of that, this version of Windows is considered the first one available on CD. For Microsoft, Windows 3.1 became a huge success. It sold 3 million copies within the first few months. It was the first Windows operating system to have the registry, a centralized database that contained information about all components and applications. Also, it let the user move shortcuts here and there. For example, you could drag a text file onto the print shortcut, which started the process of printing the document with a printer connected to such computer. Since then, the registry system has evolved considerably, and it's still one of the main components of every new version of Windows. To create something really new and outstanding in the world of games consoles, you have to either spend a fortune or develop a truly strange and unusual product. This company decided to build a games console that looks like nothing else in this world. In order to play, you literally need to turn a small crank handle on one of its sides. The new console is actually a square yellow gadget small enough to put it on your palm. Its design is dominated by simplicity and auto minimalism, but the Playdate looks really great. In some ways, Playdate looks similar to early Game Boy models but in a smaller size. The screen, the control pad below, and two action buttons. On the right side of the front panel, you find a speaker and a menu button, and a sleep mode button on the upper edge of the device. But on the right side, you can find the most unusual part of the console. Yes, I mean it, the crank handle. Yes, you need to turn it. This is an analog controller that is used to implement unusual mechanics in games, for example, time shifting that is already presented in its official website. It features a truly black and white screen without a shade of gray one bit color palette. It has no backlight or touch input, but it's super effective. The technical specs are moderately good. The monochrome screen with 400 by 240 pixel resolution and the 180 MHz Cortex M7 processor, 4 GB of internal storage and 16 MB of RAM. As admitted on the project's official website, Playdate is created just for fun. Well, I don't know about having fun, but this little thing is truly surprising.
A game development team from Ukraine created one more product based on the current armed conflict between Russia and Ukraine. This time you are playing as a member of the Tractor Battalion, famous for stealing a number of Russian armored vehicles. With Ukrainian Farmy, you can become a Ukrainian tractor driver, one of the most terrifying units on the Ukrainian battlefield. Play against the time and evade the notoriously high accuracy strikes by the invaders' artillery. Meanwhile, do your best to capture as many Russian tanks, trucks and armored personal carriers as possible. At the moment, uh, the game is still in development and the team is planning to add more tractor models and a bunch of new maps. The game is available for Windows, Linux and macOS. Japan created a humanoid robot to work on the railways. JR West Company has recently announced an unusual piece of railways equipment. It's a railway platform with an integrated humanoid robot. The company hopes to improve performance and safety by introducing a versatile solutions for railway activities. For example, the robot can do a number of jobs when working with various equipment at high altitudes, and it can help to mechanize the activities that previously required human participation. The new feature allows for multifunctional interface actions due to synchronized activities between the robot and its operator, who can receive sufficient feedback, for example, information on the weight of objects that the robot interacts with. The developers say that mastering the new robot will be quite easy. As a result, it is expected that using a transformer robot will reduce the number of people involved in various activities by 30%, and it will help to avoid certain accidents like electric shock. The prototype is expected to enter the testing program this month, with sales and practical application of the robot scheduled for the summer of 2024. And that is all to for today. Hit the like button and let's meet again in another video. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. While you're watching this video, civilians in Ukraine are dying from attacks and bombardments on the Russian Federation. Putin's insane regime has attacked a peaceful country in the very heart of Europe. Support the Ukrainian army by making a contribution to the fund Come Back Alive. Use the QR code or the link below the video to transfer any amount of money that will boost Ukrainian resistance and help it counter Russia's dishonorable invasion.